Hi, I'm Dave from Hector Smokehouse and welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do a bit of a different video today um, just to go through the reasons why I've not been producing any videos for the last six months. So 18 months ago, we started to look towards um, buying a new house and having it built. And that house was finished around about July this year. And we've finally moved into the house. And the house is on a decent bit of land this time. So the plan is to have a, a large shed around the back of the house where I can have a bit of a YouTube studio and I can do a lot more cooking and get the videos up a lot quicker and do more content. However, due to the council that we have here in a place called Mornington in Melbourne, Australia, um, trying to get things done is extremely slow. So I'm hoping in the, the next week or so, I should get permission for my second crossover, then I should get permission for a water retention system, and then finally I'll get permission for building the shed, and then we'll get the shed built. So I'm hoping by the middle of January, I should have the shed built, and I should be able to then start moving my barbecues across into the shed. At this moment in time, all of my barbecues and all the equipment are all stored in the garage, and there is no room. So I can't get the barbecues out and can't do a great deal of um, cooking. At the moment, I've got two Weber kettles outside, but that's actually all I've got at the moment. So I'm going to be able to not really produce any decent videos and output until probably January um, 2020. However, what I have also done is I've just recently bought a stair clocker, which is a dry aging unit. So I'm going to do some videos about that. I'll do a review on the stair clocker. But then I'm also going to put some different meats in over the um, this next week and start doing a 30 day aging, a 45 day aging and a 60 day aging. So the content on the, the channel will change a little bit. Um, my plan in the future is I'm going to do a little bit more about dry aging. I'm going to do more about sous vide and I'm also going to do obviously the normal barbecue videos. The other thing that I might do is the other part of Hector Smokehouse is my son, Caleb. Um, and he may actually start getting involved in doing some videos as well. And um, probably around steaks and around things like um, wings and burgers and those type of things. So hopefully we'll have a lot more content in 2020. So keep your eye out and thanks for sticking by me and hope to see you again soon. So what I was going to do was just quickly uh, show you one of the reasons why I'm not posting and where the barbecues are. So what you can see in here, um, this is a, a brand new a Komodo Komodo, a 32 inch that I've never ever used and um, but I've not got space to actually get it out yet so I'm looking forward to doing a, a review video on that in the next week or two and um, at the back there is a Primo there's a red stump in the corner over there there's the, in the black that's actually a purple uh, stump junior as well and um, this side there I think you'll see there's a Yoda as well so there's a pellet grill I think outside there's um, two Weber kettles and uh, a pit barrel as well. So you can see there's quite a lot of um, barbecues in here, not a lot of space. So hopefully in the next next few weeks we'll get the new shed built and then um, I'll be able to put a lot more barbecues out there and start cooking with them. So this is the side of the new house and um, all this around here there's going to be like a swimming pool and stuff and so it's around about 2,200 square meters, which is uh, just over half an acre. And um, in the undercover area, there's gonna be a, a, like a kitchen area where we can have, um, you know, kitchen things in there, like sinks and things like that. And then at the back here, um, in this area here, there's gonna be a shed. And the shed, and the shed will end up being something in the region of 15 meters by eight meters which will be 25 feet by 45 feet somewhere in that region so in there i'm going to put the studio and um, also on the barbecues and everything else i want to put in there as well so we should be producing videos pretty soon